Hey everybody, we just want to take a moment to show two very special P.O. Box gifts that we've received. We've gotten a lot of gifts um, really since the end of November and unfortunately it would be at least a two and a half hour long video to show yeah. all the gifts and we just want everyone to know we appreciate you so much and just taking the time out to think of us to send us anything yes. means the world to us. So we just want to showcase two of those today. Yes, two very special ones. First one is from um, Wendy Hodgkins. Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson, sorry. It's okay. And how sweet is this? And it's engraved. Love like jazz and be as strong as Tyson. And then at the bottom, I don't have my glasses on so I can't read it. <laughs> we both left paw prints in our hearts and it is all engraved. Yeah. And incredibly sweet. Beautiful. And um, thank you, Wendy. We certainly will cherish that and we're trying to figure out which picture we're going to put in that frame. Yes. So thank you. Um, the next and last gift for today that we want to share with you was sent to us by Karen Marsh. Yes. It took her, what, four months? This is a gift that took her four months to create and blew us away. Didn't expect anything like this. Mm. So take a look at this. From back here, this is a really good photograph of me, Debbie, Tyson, and Jazz. But if you get closer, these are all, I don't know how close I can actually get this, plastic, recycled plastic pieces. Every one of these are absolutely, it's incredible. I can't get close enough to really show the detail, but you might be familiar with these types of things. And of course, it also has the Love Like Jazz, strong, Be a Strong Tyson. Um, Just amazing that she took so much time to put all the detail into what it took to create this amazing photo. Um, yeah. To, to have to adhere each and every one of those tiles. Yeah, together. I glued them in the back. It's just so special and it means the world to us, Karen. I thank you and uh, Wendy. You guys are amazing. We have the most incredible people um, and uh, we just can't send this love back to you enough. Um, yeah. we, we thank you. We thank you both. Yes. And we, everyone that has sent anything. Yes. And we'll do our best to show a couple more things here and there um, at the beginning of videos and stuff yeah. like that. So thank you again. Now let's get on with the show. Hey! Hey, hi! Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. If only you could have seen. <laughs> Before I hit the record button. I didn't catch her that time. No, I am wising up to Debbie <laughs> and her hitting the record button thing. I saw that and... um. Y'all didn't, and uh, that's all we're going to say about that. <laughs> Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. <laughs> show? I don't know. <laughs> the show part's in the middle. <laughs> it is. So glad you guys are here with us today. Um, today, what are we going to do? We're going to take a look at some weird laws. We're on time today. <laughs> that's what matters. <laughs> yep, check. We're here. We're here. Um, no, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you guys like the content, please hit the like button and... And consider subscribing. And don't forget I have my 100,000 subscriber challenge out there. I want to get there by March 21st, which is my birthday, early birthday gift. You don't have to do anything but hit the subscribe button. It's free. And it's free. True story. Um, I'm, a, I'm a doubter on this. I told her there's no way it's going to happen. So. Oh, we can get there. I don't see that. Anyway, moving on. So we want to do a video today. This actually came across my desk just a few days ago. I did. And um, it's something I had just heard about from um, one of the friends I've made here um, from YouTube and then Facebook and then Patreon, um, but not a lot of detail. So it's supposed to be like a law we don't have here in America that pertains to kids and schools. And that's really all we know what this video is about. We're interested to hear more about this. I didn't know it was a law and I still don't exactly know what this fully is, but it's something to do with children in schools and something like that. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's the best I got for you. So let's dive in and see what we learned today. Um, a different law that you have that we don't. Warning. Well, hello there. Can you believe I found out about this law in the UK this week that has absolutely blown my mind? I can't believe it's a real thing. I had to Google it. I'm freaking out, and I want to talk about it today. Freak out. By the way, hi, if you're new here, my name is 
Evan Edinger, a guy who makes videos on interesting things, <laughs> and today's of course being this law. And if you're from another country, I would appreciate hearing your comments if you have a similar thing. So maybe I feel like I'm just overreacting. So the story, the other day, this week, I'm chatting with my girlfriend about upcoming Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday. I love it mm -hmm. so much. I love it, couple months old. it is old. just about being with your family, eating the, the best food of the entire year, to be quite yep. honest with you, True and story. just having a nice lazy day. Well, for the kids at least, I'm, I'm doing a lot of cooking. But my thought was, I'm really excited for my future family and how I'm going to bring the tradition of Thanksgiving to them. So I will always celebrate it, even though it's not really celebrated over here. Which so you remember too, and if, it, if you guys don't know, because we just learned this last time, that he is um, American, of course, uh -huh. but he lives in England. Right. And I know, I think he got his citizenship for both places too. Mm -hmm. So that's where he's going with that for my future family and how I'm going to bring the tradition of Thanksgiving to them. So I will always celebrate it, even though it's not really celebrated over here. Which, well, no, as a quick aside, right. it does mildly make me feel sad that it's like completely not talked about at all in the UK. Obviously, I understand, different culture makes 100% sense, but you walk around London this week, I swear to God, every other sign is Happy Dia de los Muertos, which Oh, okay, that's nice. I looked up, there's around 9,000 Mexicans currently living in the UK, so I'm sure they're very much appreciating that. But it feels like a, like, okay, I've celebrated it. Either way, I just, 167,000 Americans, no Thanksgiving. <laughs> <clears throat> so Thanksgiving. Oh, but, I see. Okay, never mind. I'm excited about, uh, you know, the, the premise of having my kids be able to celebrate the same way I did, have a nice lazy Thursday, and mm -hmm. my girlfriend's like, well, probably won't be allowed to. And I was like, <laughs> Why? Says who? Why would I not be allowed? And she went, well, it's illegal to take your kids out of school. And I was like, what the f You're kidding. Okay, no, so that's where we're going to pause. So this is what I thought it was maybe about, but wasn't sure. Because again, I didn't know this was a law. And that's what he's saying so far. Yeah. And he's saying that's illegal. So there's got to be a lot more to this than just, well, obviously we just got to the first sentence here. But yeah, let's continue on because I'm perplexed. It's very interesting. I, I didn't know that this was a law. Well, let's, let's, an, I let's find more. out what the law is, right? Let's find out. Okay. What do you think it is? Uh, I have, uh, I mean, it sounds like you just can't take your kids out of school. For Thanksgiving or in general? In general. Okay, let's find out. Joking. Are you, they're my kids, okay? I go onto the old Google machine. Sure enough, um, wow. I, I, absolutely. It is in the UK currently 100% illegal to take oh. your child out of school for one day. None. You're not allowed to have any days. The, even the phrasing of this sounds so draconian and strange to me. The fact that in order- What? That is very strange. Um, no. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, right now, I agree. Hold on. I still I, want more information. That can't be right. This for one day? For one day, is what he's saying. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going, because I- <laughs> What? I'm confused. I want more info. Oh, uh, okay. Brains confused. Okay, we rewind that just 10 seconds so we can school for one day. None. You're not allowed to have any days. The, even the phrasing of this sounds so draconian and strange to me. The fact that in order to have my child with me on a holiday that I would like to celebrate with him, mm -hmm. I need, or her, I need to ask permission from the head teacher to take my own child mm -hmm. out for the day. I, does that not feel Hold on, dude. to take? I want to read this because I, <laughs> I can't listen and, and read at the same time. Okay. You have to get permission from the head teacher if you want to take your child out of school during term time. You can only do this if. If you make an application to the head teacher in advance. Okay. As a parent, the child normally lives with. There, there are exceptional circumstances. So, okay. So it's not like you can't do it at all. Yeah. Okay. So you just got to get permission ahead of time. Okay. That's a lot different than you just can't do it because yeah. most people aren't going to just randomly decide one day, hey. Yeah, and wouldn't it before you, a fine if you did? That's what it said in the first thing you it? put up there okay. real quick. Okay. All right. My own child out for the day. I, does that not feel weird to anyone else? Anyone at all? I mean, yeah, this law weird. was updated in 2013 mm -hmm. to make it as severe as it currently is. Supposedly before this, you had a bit more leeway. But the fact that if I go, well... <clears throat> I still want to celebrate this cultural tradition that my culture has had, which isn't one that bank holidays are here for, with my child. And if I don't ask permission, or if let's just say I do, but 
man, I don't know, maybe that t head teacher, she's watched my YouTube video. She's not a fan. Okay. <laughs> no, she does not give me any oh, permission. Oh. I didn't think about that. So they could say no. Yeah, I suppose they could. How common is the no? Right. That That's a good question because, I mean, I would think most head teachers would allow it if it's cultural tradition that you're ce celebrating. Like he, the example he's using. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a perfect Thanksgiving, example. Thanksgiving, not your cultural thing that you want to celebrate. I don't know, maybe. Um, or just a day. The fourth Tuesday of, I don't know, <laughs> April or something. And, a, leg a legit holiday. Yeah, a legit, legit cultural one. thing. Legit. You know, if, for those that don't know, you know, Thanksgiving here is just as big as Christmas in a lot of ways. Yeah. And, and like you said at the beginning, food's even better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a day of being with family. Mm -hmm. So I get that. Like if we had children and we were in the United Kingdom... Oh, I would, we would absolutely be celebrating Thanksgiving, and you ain't telling me I'm not going to take the kid out and have that right. ho holiday because it's not, you know. Right, and as we do here, it's not just Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving and the day after the Friday. Yeah, so and then Thursday the whole weekend. And Friday. But, right, so. of course. Okay, well, let's get back in and see what else we learned about this. We'll see how much you cover. She's watched my YouTube video. She's not a fan. Okay. No, she does not give me any permission or him. Well, if I take my child out anyway, I get fined like 60 quid, depending on the council. Wow. Now, if you don't pay the 60 pound fine, what Hold will on now, he keeps throwing stuff that I can't <laughs> I read at the same time. Start too fast. Okay. Your local council can give each, par each parent a fine of 60 pounds, which rises to 120 each, if you do not pay within 21 days. Okay. What? If you do not pay the fine after 28 days, you may be prosecuted if your child's absence from school. That's pretty severe. Holy crap. We don't have that here. No. <laughs> no. No, nothing like that. No. You take your kid out of school. You take your kid out of school. Yeah, I mean, there's truancy officers and stuff like that. Like, you can't be out for, like, forever, you know? Yeah, You're there's a go. limit. That's <laughs> insanity. Yeah. For me. Like, that's just an insane concept for me. Yes. Like, okay, this is different. They're serious about their education. Well, and that's that should be the case. Definitely. But let's just keep going. I feel like there's some stuff here where just we're jumping mm -hmm. the gun on a little bit. 60 quid, depending on the council. Now, if you don't pay the 60 pound fine, welcome to prosecution, folks. Now, that prosecution means a fine of up to 2,500 pounds and a community order or a jail sentence for up to three months. Yes, <laughs> nothing will help the child more than their parent being thrown in jail. <laughs> right? What a great deterrent. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I just find it crazy. I can't even have my kid out for a holiday. And then I thought, maybe it's just because I've only been on the child end of this whole thing. I've been a kid. So I'm looking it up. I keep doing this, okay? I'm engaging. <laughs> I look it up in, in my home state, obviously in the USOA, huge amount of differences here. They got a lot of different states, a lot of different municipalities. So everybody's got something different. But with mine, you're allowed like 10 to 15 days. Yeah. You just gotta give your like teacher, not even the head one, just give your son's teacher or daughter's teacher a heads up. Give him a heads up. Cause yeah. you know, he's your child slash. Okay, the genders are gonna freak me out today, but it's your child, okay? <laughs> so you just give your teacher a heads up and then you, you go take your kids somewhere, have fun. Exactly. Here, you gotta ask permission because it's not your child anymore. I find that interesting. I find that interesting as well. And so here, um, you know, my family, we, we'd go on like little vacations here and there, you know, and um, we didn't have to get permission. I mean, that's like he's saying, you know, right. my parents were right. my parents when I was their kid. And so it was just like, that's what we're doing. But the thing is this too, like, um, so like if you're going to be out for a period of time, what they do is they'll give you all of your work. Yeah. Your schoolwork for the time that you're going to be gone. Yeah, so you're not missing anything. You still have to do your homework. You still have to turn in all the yes. assignments. They'll give you the material you'll need to read, the things you need to prepare for and yep. do your homework. And I mean, that's what we did. Did you go through that too? I'm sure. I um, mean, uh Friends did. Unfortunately, my family was not that lenient. So if school uh, you didn't in, get to get it, you, didn't get to you went to school <laughs> unless you were sick. I mean, yeah, and that's dependent on each family, too. But like this is a serious thing because that's a big deal. You know, mm -hmm. we're talking about your, your family here. Yeah. But if you have like, again, if we were living there and there were certain holidays, we, we participate here because the bank holidays there are not the same here and vice right. versa. Right. Um I'm, I'm going to take my kid and do whatever I want to with my kid. Yeah, and I'm not going to pay a fine for that. That's ridiculous. I'm not yeah. doing that. So what are your guys' know. thoughts on this? Um, I know we're not done with the video yet. I mean, hopefully not jumping the gun too much, but. And how hard is it to get that permission from the head teacher? Is and is it really? Hard? Yeah, my question too is already this. Such a debatable. Is it strictly topic. enforced? That would be my question. The one day thing. Yeah. I, I find it hard to believe that on one day, anyone right. would really say anything. Yeah. 
I'm having a hard time with that one. So let us know. Okay. Interesting in a very scary way. From the age of five until 16, you are legally required to have your child be at the school or be homeschooled every single one of those school days. Wow. I just... I don't know. I, to be fair, it, it feels like a weird thing for me to, uh, a weird hill for me to die on, considering that I had perfect attendance all throughout high school, got a little plaque for it, didn't miss a single day. And in terms of like K to eight, the first eight years of schooling, I also didn't really miss any. I think I missed three days actually, so no plaque for that. A shame. <laughs> Either way, I, I feel like as a future parent, I'd like the ability to maybe take my child out on a fun holiday when it's not the exact same time every other student is currently going on holiday. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Probably because it'll be a lot cheaper. It kind of feels That's messed up that obviously when it's not school out time, you, you know, it's going to be a lot cheaper to book these holidays, but mm. that's the whole thing. They don't want you to do that. So I find that's a little bit classist. However, I do understand when you want to take your kid out on a holiday, he needs to understand or she needs to understand that they've got to catch up. They've got to do a lot mm -hmm. of catch up. And so it makes sense that you wouldn't necessarily want to take your kid out of school for a long period of time. Right. Well, but no. one day, just one little <laughs> day. Again, how strictly enforced is this one day thing? Right. I'm having a hard time with that. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's probably up to each school. Um, each head teacher. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that there are people that have done this and do this and it's really not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But let us know. If you're unaware as well, they actually go to school a lot more in the UK than the US. How much more, you might ask? I don't know, I like 4% or so. No. We have 180 4%. days of our school year in the States. Cut and dried, fairly certain that's a, a regional, all US thing, a national thing. In yeah. the UK, it's 190. Okay, doesn't sound like too much. More. But interestingly enough, I, I almost kind of like the way that it works in the UK in terms of how they divvy those days out that you get off for holiday. In the US, we just get a big old chunk, okay? We get three full months off. As mm -hmm. soon as June 15th rolls around, you're out. It's time for summer vacation, unless you got some. You like way behind on time to the American thing. Yeah. They're out the, they're out in May. Yeah, it's usually the end of May now. And, and sometimes in the middle of May. Yeah. So yeah. it depends what part of the country yeah, too. Yeah, I think it depends on what grade you're in. Well, that in, in the region. And also, mm -hmm. too, there are year-round schools in America. I have a friend um, whose uh, kids are in year-round year schooling, mm -hmm. which they still get some time off, but they don't right. get the three-month blocks right. like we do here. So he's right. just a little off here. Um, just want to clarify that for everybody. As soon as June 15th rolls around, <clears throat> you're out. It's time for summer vacation, unless you got some, like, snow days that backed up into summer, if you know what I mean. And then as soon as, like, the first week of September comes around, that first Thursday, you're back. So you got a big summer vacation. In the UK, instead of having those, like, what, 12 weeks in a row, they space all those out so that you have, like, summer holidays in the summer, and then you get other term holidays. If I go into here, I have a link open for looking at the term times. Learning a lot here. Uh, we have the autumn term is September 1st until December 16th, and then you have that half term. So for all three terms, you get a half term with five days off, along with the other bank holidays that you are going to be expecting. Okay, hold on. So wait. Yeah, I'm you trying to read. <laughs> would you be off your birthday? Um, Looks like you would. Yes. That's not fair. Um, okay, but here's the deal. So we're used to what we're used to here. You're used to what you're used to there, right? Yes. So they're going to be different. I would not want to change if I was still in school. I love the summer break. I love being off for a couple mm -hmm. months. And I would never have wanted to change that. If you offered me, you know, this versus what we had and have. Right. I would. You wouldn't take it either, would you? No, just no. because that's what I. Because summer is the time. For 52 to, years. And that's when you can go and take those long vacations, right? Mm -hmm. And do those things. Um but uh, we're just, again, it's it's different. It's not one's better than the other. And I will fight through this video and say that. Yeah. It's what you're used to. It's what you're used to. Not one, There's not one better than the other. Mm -hmm. And I hate when people say that. Because yes. it's not better. Yes. It's different. Yeah. So, again, there's only, you're, you're in school there. The kids are 10 days more than us. That's a, mm -hmm. that's not even worth mentioning, really. Um, okay. So, just was curious to take a look at that. I do find it weird. I was like, why are there only three seasons? We have the autumn term, the spring <laughs> term, and the summer term. 
Winter. And I feel like that's just a bit of false hope here. Spring term <laughs> is 95% in the winter, okay? January 3rd <laughs> until right. March 31st. There are only 10 days of that period that are actually in the spring, guys. Sure. Let's, let's just call it the winter term, okay? In fact, the summer term, okay, that's like half and half. We got July 21st. Mm. Oh, God. I can't imagine having to go to school in July. It must get so oh, hot, dear. right? Mm. I feel like you guys don't have air conditioning. In this I was just going to say that. Is there, I assume, is there no <laughs> AC in the schools too? I would think not. I mean, it's not in the house. Well, and, but it also, thank God you guys don't summer. have, I know you did this past summer, you had a few days of that horrible heat, but yeah. thankfully you do not have the heat and the stupid humidity we do. Right. There's so many things we've not thought of before, and there's a lot of conversation here. Yeah, and I would think if they were to have a heat wave that the schools would close down if it were, yeah. you know, like we had this past. Okay, but good question. So, but if the schools don't, and you have a heat wave like you just did this past summer, can you take your kid out for that? And if so, are you going to get fined for it? True. Please mm-hmm. let us know because yes. I bet y'all, I bet well, some of you found that out this summer. Just I'm willing to bet that. So. I'm willing yeah. to bet that. So let us know. This is all very fascinating. So, <clears throat> people that grew up here, how is it going to school in the summer? I genuinely couldn't imagine, especially as a summer baby, I wouldn't want to have to do that. I wouldn't have to go to school on my birthday. Luckily, July 29th doesn't coincide, so I'm fine. <laughs> How many other July 29ths out there? Statistically, there must be a lot of you. Come on. Now, I looked it up, and Germany has a little bit of a similar thing. But Germany. It's nicht erlaubt, but you're allowed to ask. So I think it's a bit similar to the US. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Deutschers. Now, one interesting difference about the way that the UK and the US deal with this schooling issue of attendance is if you are not showing up to school in the US, that's your fault, okay? You do it too many times. You miss too many days of school. You go into juvie, okay? You yep. go into juvenile hall. Mm-hmm. They'll teach you to go to school if you can't go to school because you're in child prison. <laughs> we child prison. prisons in the States. Whereas in the UK, it's more about the parents. <laughs> in the UK, it's like, you should have a better child. We're going to fine you. <laughs> I think it, as long as it's not your fault as a parent, I think that gets into shakier territory. But another interesting thing to note that I found out while researching this video, in the US, of course, once you turn 16, you do not have to legally continue your education. You can do some other stuff. The eight- no. This is true. You didn't know that? No. Okay, so yeah, this is true. And I know about this because I um, don't want to tell why, but I know about this, <laughs> but it's not that simply. Because here, you know, you, you go to high school until you're about 18, unless mm-hmm. your birthday is weird, 17. Uh, but it's 18 typically you graduate high school so um yeah you can technically leave school at 16 but you don't get your driver's license oh i didn't know that either Mm -hmm. i was actually i'm not going to go into the whole thing but i was going to stop and work full-time i was working Mm -hmm. um and doing a co-op inside of school while i was working at the time and i was going to quit school Uh to do that and that's when i found out guess what you'll be driving you won't be getting your driver's license until you're i think 18. And I'm like, well, I'm not waiting. But what if, what if you get your driver's license and then decide to quit school? I mean, I don't know if the things changed. I think you could do it even at 15 back then. Yeah. I've been, I'm old. <laughs> this was like forever ago. Not that old. I don't know. <laughs> How would you know about this little detail until you'd have to go through it? This is a big thing. If you're taking a family and moving to the United Kingdom yes. and how strict this is, and we rely on the comments for this, okay, mm-hmm. um, to let us know how strict this really is. Let us know, because yes. you, if you move over there with your family and you have children, this is something you need to know first. If you're, you know, not used to this, and yeah. no matter what country you're in, if this isn't something you're, you know, going going through. The age you're allowed to leave the education system in the UK has risen from 16 to 18 in 20. 20- 13. And I'm, I'm trying to find out why they did this. Well, it says because it's good for young people to develop a greater range of skills and the likelihood of unemployment is significantly reduced. Okay, I actually have no problem with that. I actually think it's a good thing, especially because the way that the UK is doing this isn't you have to go to school to learn, for instance, calculus, something that I do still very much appreciate that I learned, but instead you have the option to not only learn these A-level courses on things you can specialize in, you can also choose apprenticeships. That's pretty useful. If you're someone that's like, I know I'm not going to be a scholarly person. I don't want to do jobs that deal with like desks and math or English or what. You can choose to do an incredibly (laughs) important role that requires an apprenticeship. 
that's good. So the two options available on the government website here, you've got full-time studying in school, which means of course 18 hours per week, not so bad, or full-time employment or volunteering. The full-time is counted as 20 hours a week combined with your part-time studying. So you can't fully escape the study. Or of course, option three is the apprenticeship or traineeship. Now for this section of the education system <laughs> from age 16 to 18, the legal requirement to attend and learn and go to the apprenticeship or full-time education and whatnot actually falls on the student and not the carer slash parent for one. Okay, that's so interesting. Yeah. You better do it or there aren't actually currently any legal ramifications for choosing not to continue studying after the age of 16. Like, it's the law, but it seems like there isn't actually any enforcement currently. Also, because I know there's gonna be some comments about this already, I have been saying the UK, when in reality, you this is Britain. actually just old Ingerland. Oh, England. Scotland, they're good after 16. They don't okay. quite have this, but also their education system is a bit better when it comes to their tests and whatnot. You got Wales, also age 16. They don't have this wank. And lastly, Northern Ireland, also kind of the same, 16, totally the same. Now, am I making a big deal out of nothing? I'd love to hear your opinion on this. This is just something that really has blown my mind because it is completely different from yeah. where I was brought up. And as someone who has cultural traditions that he would like to share with his future family, it does make me sad that if those traditions don't fall on the same British bank holiday traditional days, I have to beg permission from a head teacher to let yeah, me have my him. kid for a day. Mm -hmm. I, I just find that a bit weird. Personally, I do appreciate that they are trying really hard to make sure that the children get a good education, but of course. I've seen the Educating Yorks program and I, I, basically, I just feel like you should be allowed to have uh, five or 10, depending, you know, extenuating circumstances. You should be allowed to have a couple days to yeah. take your kid out of school to celebrate something or go somewhere if it's not just because of the death of a family member. But okay. hey, maybe you all completely disagree with me. I'd love to hear your opinions. Send them in the comment section below in a nice kind tone. Anyway, hopefully <laughs> Same you're here. enjoying the extra content I've been Okay, so that's the end of his video, and uh, please be kind in our comment section as well. We'd appreciate yes. it, because um, this is something that I didn't know. I just did that. <laughs> I'm sure it could be a hot topic. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not sitting here saying, again, one's better than the other. It's just a, a cultural shock for us, you know, to hear that this is mm -hmm. a law that you will can be fined with, and even jail time. My question is, like, what if you... Do have that child that's, I don't know, 13, 14, 12, who knows, um, that doesn't like to go to school and they start skipping. And then, you yeah, you're parent, in trouble. That sucks. You get fined. I mean, how? I can't even imagine how you would deal with that. I mean, that sucks. Yeah, that'd be a tough one. Yeah. And yeah. you kids really do that over there. I I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was bad for skipping high school. I was bad for that. Uh, class members used to take uh, bets on if I would come back to class <laughs> or not, if I'd show up. <laughs> um, it's not something I, I mean, I laugh at it now, but I, re I regret it. I wish I had been there more. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, that's why we do YouTube and learn stuff. I'm just and then again, maybe with this law, um, maybe the kids don't skip because the maybe, parents... Yeah, that's true. Because the parents would find out immediately. That's true too. So there's a lot so, of good thoughts here. What are your thoughts as parents? Um, mm -hmm. Please let us know. Do you think this is ridiculous? Do you think it's just okay? It's fine. It's normal. I mean, again, we're just coming from a whole different place with a whole different yeah. situation. If you guys liked today's video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Don't be mad at us for anything that happened in this video because <laughs> we're just learning. Some of these things can be really surprising because this was one of the most surprising things for me. It for this been, entire YouTube uh, channel, you? Yeah, it's it, that's quite a shock to to learn this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let us know in the comments the things that we've already asked. Yeah, a lot of questions there. Um, and I, I would apologize for our banter, but you know this is real. This this is real uh, reactions. These are real mm -hmm. conversations. We are a show. We're not just sitting here for views. Um, this is stuff we're learning in real time. Uh -huh. and have real questions and real thoughts. Absolutely, we do. And um, this was a this was interesting. Again, I don't. I would have to really think about this. Um, I just don't. I'm still stuck on. I don't think the one day things enforced that much. But I do think. Um, I don't know how you would do certain holidays. You know mm -hmm. that you know July Fourth. You know. Well, I guess on the one hand, I mean, if you really set on setting that celebrating that one holiday, you'll pay the fine. I mean, I that's the way I was thinking of it. Yeah, good point. 
Yeah, I would just have to plan ahead. I mean, I would not like that though, and that's where I'm with Evan on this. I wouldn't like that. But what would that be? Sixty per, so yeah, twenty. But that's just for one day. That's a lot. That's deep. That's what I'm saying. So, um, let us know in the comments uh, again all the questions we asked. If you could help us, we would just like to know your thoughts on it. Um, has this been a permanent thing? I know we said it made it, they made it stricter in 2013. Right. Um, what was it before that? Let us know too. Lots of questions here. Again, we're just trying to learn and we can't learn if we don't get into sometimes a little bit of the controversial stuff. But that's right. Um, so I hope this wasn't taking it out of turn. It just really something that shocked me to death. Sure did me. Yeah. So, um, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, please, again, please be respectful in the comments, not just to us, but to each other. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you. We will be back on Sunday and hopefully we'll see you then. So until then, love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.